Africa has been the victim of what we call divide and rule, mm-hmm. divide and conquer. Is it possible to have it in verse? Is it possible as African nations that we pit these superpowers against each other to get the best solution for Africa? Or is that naive? And I say that because in the Russia-Africa summit, something very interesting happened. The Russian embassy here in Kenya put out a tweet. They said they put a picture of all of the African delegates that went to Buckingham Palace and how they were all shipped on a bus. And then they said, in Russia, we treat African leaders with respect. And it showed them all getting into limousines. <laughs> um, and, and I think, you know, I, I say this, but I, here I, I, I bow down to the elder. Yeah. As someone who's got more experience, who's been in the game a lot longer than me. Yeah. Is it naive to say that African nations, it's time for us to do divide and prosper? They did divide and rule. We need to do divide and prosper. What's your thought? Sometimes what we call naivete is actually the creator of success. Sometimes you've got to appear weak in order to be strong. It is Bruce Lee, the martial artist, who said, if you want to fight successfully, be like water. Mm. Be fluid. Water changes not its nature. It can be gas, it can be solid, it can be liquid, and it takes the shape of any vessel that it enters into, but never changes. And I think there is wisdom in that. I think the time is now. And this is how I understood Kwame Nkrumah when he say, look neither east nor west, look forward. In other words, the guiding principle should be the interest of Africa. And the interest of Africa does not reside in one place. It can be found in Russia, for it can be chi- found in China for their technology. It can be found in the United States. It can be found in India. It can be found in Turkey. If we are able to do that, and we should be bold enough to tell these individuals, after we have done all the rounds as African presidents are doing, going to Russia, going to China, going to Beijing, going to Japan, going to the Qataris, we should now have an African meeting at which we now summon all of them in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and say, we have gone the round. You've taken us round and round. Now we have considered all the beautiful things you've been telling us, and we now want you in Addis Ababa. You, the Japanese, what we need from you is your technology. You, the Chinese, this is what we need. You, the tax, this is what we need. You, the Americans, this is what you need. And we are going to collaborate with you from that perspective. Forget all these bilaterals and other things we have signed. We are now signing a pan-African engagement treaty with all of you to get what we think is in the best interest of Africa and in our mutual benefit.